Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Razer gaming laptop with a cracked screen. So in this video here, I'll be doing uh, a screen replacement, and I like to walk you through step by step on how to do that as well. So for the model of this, the laptop is RZ09-0313. If you're watching this video because of your laptop screen is cracked, uh, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, that helps me to motivate myself to make more of this video, repair video for you uh, in the near future. Alright, so uh, let me show you what happened to my screen here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So the laptop on the top right corner here, uh, there was an impact on the screen. So after that thing happens, now you can see that the screen is have a disordered color, pixelated, funny, funny color all over the screen. So um, I need to do a screen replacement. If not, the laptop is not usable. All right. So as you can see, everything is functional. Um, the is looking for the face recognition ID to log in. This is the uh, window screen here. Uh, but the LCD looks funny, right? So let's go ahead and press the power button, hold and press it down to turn it off until the keyboard light goes off. And let's go ahead and flip it in the back. And we're going to disconnect the battery for this repair. So the screws are running on the uh, T5, these are Torx screws. All the screws are the same in size, so if you mix match the screw, there shouldn't be a problem because all the screw is like one size fit all. Alright, so let me try again on this part here. I'm having some difficulty on this top right, top left screw. Find a better screw for that one. It looks like it's going to strip. I do not want to strip that screw, so let me find a right screwdriver for that. T5. So my first T5 here has been with me for a long time, and the um, the screw bit on the top here is kind of wearing off which was almost giving that uh, stripping feeling earlier. So I use a different screwdriver. Sorry about that. I do not mean to uh, drag the video any longer. Now, once you remove all the screws, you can actually uh, remove the back cover by prying it up. And here you can see that the, uh, the, the entire motherboard with the CPU fan. So the fan is pretty rusty uh, and it's dirty but that's not the video for this purpose so this is the battery here and let's go ahead and disconnect the battery so that we can continue with the uh, the uh, the screen repair so this is the uh, the battery connector for this razor and all you need to do is just to lift the thing up and disconnect that is it Let's, let's confirm if that is the battery, okay? Mm, 
Yeah, so if you um, needed to upgrade your uh, M.2 drive, let's just say that your C drive is running out of space, this is the M.2 where you can upgrade them. Uh, I have a separate video and show you how to clone the M.2 drive. Uh, meaning that if you want to migrate all your windows, your programs, your data, everything over, uh, check on the link in the description below where I make a separate video on how to clone uh, an, an M.2 drive. Alright, so this is the battery connector. I wasn't 100% sure if it is the cable of this. So now you know that even I confirm it to myself, uh, this is the battery connector. So all you can do is just to disconnect the cable and that way you don't have power running through the laptop while we are replacing the LCD screen. So sorry that I have to divert the video for a little bit just to show you uh, the battery part here. But now it's come from this is the cable for the battery. I wasn't sure 100% uh, sure uh, that comes from myself. So sorry about that but you now we all know. Okay, so to move on, I like to uh, put the back cover back on in case that I accidentally scrub or touch the motherboard. I do not want any damage uh, to those uh, components here. So let me find my T5. I'm just going to put like two screws here, temporary, just to hold the back cover. Okay. Now once we have that installed, let's go ahead and flip the laptop back in the front here. I like to lay the screen flat so that this angle you can see the entire process. Now this is what we call the bezel. Okay, and this bezel right here is not screw onto the screen, it's double sided and clip onto the LCD. So to remove the bezel, you get a prying tool and slowly pry it open. Now, um, you do not want to put a lot of force into prying the bezel because if you do that, you may end up bent or dent the bezel. And if you bend the bezel or dent the bezel, uh, what happened is you wouldn't have this uh, flat flush seating bezel when you replace with the new screen. Okay, so just Take your time, stick it in since the screen is already cracked uh, so we don't have to worry about scratching the screen because we are replacing it. Uh, but what we need to do is just be careful with the bezel. We will try to reuse the same glue from, from it. That way we do not uh, have to apply or get a new double sided tape to tape the bezel on. Alright, so we are getting there. Now, I do not have the new screen with me yet uh, because I need to check the model number or the serial number of this repair. Um, so this is the video that I will show it to you. You see what I have done there? I have put too much pressure on the bezel. I somewhat make the bezel a little bit uh, dent inwards. So this is what I was telling you. Uh, take your time and not to rush it. Just cut the double-sided tape. This very sticky adhesive tape here. When it comes to the uh, the the microphone and the camera, just pay extra attention to it. Uh, I do not want you to you know scrape the lens or damage the lens. So as I'm working with it, the same time I'm turning the laptop, uh, trying to get the angle so that you guys can see it. Alright, so this entire bezel came right off. Uh, the less pressure you put on, the better it is. This is like a piece of flimsy metal. And we try to double sided tape them back together afterwards, yeah? So this one here is coming from this part and just leave it as this for now uh, 
Okay. Now the next step I like to do is to um, share with you this little black piece of tape. If you take a closer look at the bottom right corner, you see this black tape. It's a tape that tape onto the LCD screen. They do not have the uh, screw that screwed it on. So what you want to do is you want to pull this string. It's going to be really long. Just keep pulling it. Do not break it though. Right, pull the string. Okay, so this is what I was referring to. It's a double-sided tape. It's like a rubber sticky tape that tape the LCD down. So you need to remove this in order to get the S LCD out. They have it on both sides. One is on the left and one is on the right. They're both from the bottom. Let's go ahead and pull it slowly. Now this is the final tape, right? The last tape, there are only two of them. While you're pulling this one, I'm actually somewhat holding onto the LCD because I do not want you to pull too hard and it comes with the LCD, flip it back to your body, flip it to yourself and you snap the cable. So there's a cable connected to the LCD. That is what I'm watching too. I don't care about the LCD because I'm replacing with it. I care about the cable. All right, so you see how I'm holding it? The LCD does not flip it back to me and I get able to get the, uh, the tape out without any problem. Now, once we have that removed, your LCD should just come off very freely. Shouldn't be any problem. It should be all free to go and just come straight out. Now, this is where I was referring to is this cable right here. That we want to be very careful and gentle. And what you want to do is you want to pay attention to this little black tape. This tape right here is actually still taping down the connector. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove that. Now once you expose the tape, there is a little clipper and this clipper right here is to flip it up. You need to open up the clipper and then slide the cable away from you right so there is this little safety clipper clips onto the LCD and then once you flip it up the cable is exposed and you can slide it away from you and that's how you do not damage this LCD cable right so if you break this one uh, sorry it's gonna be a bad day you need to change the whole thing but that's a different story all right so let's turn it around I need what I need to do is to find the serial number of this LQ156 M1J W08 and find a replacement. Now I'm going to do that later on in this video here. Um, but I don't have the screen like I said. I need to make sure that I find the right serial. Now I'm doing it for you. You don't have to remove your screen to find the serial. You can just refer to my video here to find for the same serial. But make sure that you have the right and same model, uh, same laptop, so on and so forth, right? Uh, we are comparing Apple to Apple. We are not comparing a different model here. So I'm not too sure about your different Razer laptop screen. I do not have that video here. Uh, so if you want to make sure you buy the right screen, maybe you want to remove the screen, check the serial number, make sure you match the model or the serial and go ahead and look for one replacement yourself, right? So, but for this model here, I have it for you. Uh, you can watch this without any problem. Now to move forward, just assuming that you actually bought the screen and you're ready to do your own repair, and here you go, All right? So the deliver guy delivered the screen to you, you have it with you in hand, just pretend this is a new screen, okay? You have it with you in hand and you're ready to install. Now one thing you need to buy is this double-sided adhesive tape. And this tape right here is red, but it's actually not. So if you cut it, 
uh, let's see, let me find my scissors. I have it here. So you need to do a measuring. So measure is about this much, okay. So what you want to do is, I'm going to show it to you how to install, but you know, I don't have the new screen to install and show it to you, but this is how you want to do it. So you want to buy one of this double-sided tape. You see this line here? This line right here is actually a guidance for you. You guide your tape, you put it down, the length of it, and 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 to install, right? Remember that the black tape was actually sitting here in a far bottom left. You want to do the same, just in case in the future, if you happen to have uh, broke your screen screen twice, you know, who knows what happened, right? If you game and whatnot. If you happen to break your screen twice, then you know where to look for that little uh, tape here, right? So once you put the tape down, go ahead and peel this thing off. So it's going to be white. And then once you install the uh, screen, assuming, like I said, this is a new screen, you install the cable in a reverse manner, install and put the clipper down, clip it down and put the tape to secure that, that LCD connector. And when you flip the screen back up, this double-sided tape is going to catch onto your screen and then you're going to see this little for the near future right the future if you crack it this is where you're going to pull this tape down uh, for yourself to you know to to do the second replacement screen and it also holds the lcd screen for you right so this is the the reason why you need to buy this red tape way to get the tape i have the link in the description i got this one from amazon um, I will direct you back to Amazon to buy the same tip that I'll be using for this repair. Other than that, it's pretty much straightforward and you can come back here, you know, reinstall your battery or reconnect the cable of your battery and that should be it. So I hope this video helps uh, to explain to you how to do the screen replacement and if you have any question just comment below uh, please do not forget to give me a like i really appreciate if you can do that and also do me a favor tell me were you able to repa repair or replace your screen by yourself by watching this video i'd like to hear from you because it gives me a feedback and um, you know so that i can do a better video so just comment below tell me if you follow along with the video were you able to replace the screen yourself? Alright, until next time, please take care. Bye now.